Let's talk about dry sleeve and wet sleeve. What is a dry sleeve and what is a wet sleeve? All of us, you listen to me. I believe you know what is a sleeve or a liner. You know its job, you know its function. But sometimes you may not do the differentiate why they send you have this and why they send you have this and what is actually the difference between a wet sleeve and a dry sleeve. A wet sleeve means there is a direct contact with your coolant. So the coolant is having a direct contact with your sleeve or with your liner. That is a wet sleeve. There is no wall that shield or protect the, uh, the sleeve or the liner from the, from the coolant. So your coolant is getting to the wall of your very liner. And that is why they call wet sleeve or wet liner. So a direct connection or a direct contact is between your sleeve and your coolant. That is wet sleeve. And that is why you always see that your wet sleeve is always thicker. Simply because it's having a direct contact with your coolant. It must be thick so that corrosion will not eat it up and it will burst into your cylinder. So each time you see your a sleeve that is very thick, wash it very well, it usually be a wet sleeve. Another thing is that when you see a wet sleeve, it always has what we call sleeve rubber or a liner rubber or a liner seal. The seal will bend the, the, the coolant getting down to the bottom of your engine to prevent dilution. So a, a wet sleeve has a direct contact with your coolant. It always has a thicker wall and also it has a rubber seal. The seal prevents the coolant from going down so that dilution will not take place right in the in your engine song. Now let's talk about dry sleeve. When we talk about dry sleeve, we are talking that a sleeve that there is no direct contact, that has no direct contact with your coolant. That means when the sleeve is installed, it is installed into your engine block, there is another wall that protects the sleeve so that there is no direct contact with your engine coolant and your engine sleeve. There is another one that protects your engine liner. So it is referred to as a dry sleeve because it has no direct contact with your coolant. And when you remove it, you will not see a coolant on it. But when you remove, when you remove a wet sleeve, you will definitely see a coolant on it because there is a direct contact with coolant. But in terms of dry sleeve, you will not see a direct contact. And one of the characteristics of dry sleeve is that it's always lighter than a wet sleeve, always lighter. And since there is no direct contact, there is no need of liner rubber or sleeve rubber around it. When you see a sleeve without a liner rubber, you, see, you should know that it is a wet sleeve. But when you see a sleeve with liner rubber, you should know that it is a wet sleeve because the rubber is to prevent the coolant from going from the going down into your oil um, to your to your lubricant. So when you see a sleeve without a rubber and it's lighter, you should know that it's a dry sleeve and there is, there is no direct contact with the coolant. Rather, it is stored into a wall that put that shield or protect it. The coolant gets to that wall, but not directly, no direct contact with this leaf. Hope you have learned something. You can now differentiate between a line, a, a, a wet leaf or a wet liner and a dry one. There is no direct contact with the dry one, but when it comes to the dry one, there is a contact between the sleeve and the coolant thank you so much for listening to me
thank you so much for watching me don't forget to subscribe press it now subscribe 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 like and share the video thank you for listening to me see you in my next video i appreciate